Warinti. Ating pangako. So please do not base your purchase on my fears. Wow, fears impressions. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is super exciting because I'll be trying out new makeup again. I know I said on my past videos that I will try my best not to do first impressions anymore, but I cannot help it. Gusto ko na talaga silang it try. Please do not base your purchase on first impressions ko. Hintayin nyo na lang yung mga updates ko sa mga products na ita try out ko today. Most of the products naman na ita try ko today ano sa drugstore, pero merong dalawa dito hindi siya drugstore, high-end siya, kasi yung M Cosmetics. Um, high-end na siya para sa akin eh, kasi yung price niya, high-end na talaga. So yes, I'll be trying out the M Cosmetics ser Serum? Huh? Ano serum. Serum. I don't know how you pronounce it. Wait. Ano daw? Serum. Serum. Yun na yun. Hindi na ako magpapaligoy-ligoy pa. I'm gonna zoom you guys in now so we can start already. I have already put on my moisturizer and I'm super duper excited to try this primer out kasi lahat ng YouTubers na nakita kong dry and normal skin na tinry tong primer na to, nagustuhan nila talaga. This is from e.l.f. This is called the e.l.f. Jelly Pop Dew Primer. So sa pangalan pa lang na Dew Primer, this is gonna be a dewy primer. This is how it looks like. And ito na talaga yung uso na packaging ngayon na parang squeezy tube pero hindi talaga siya isi-squeeze kasi meron siyang pump. Mmm, best! Ang bango nito! I super duper love this scent. It smells like watermelon. Yung parang watermelon candy. Ganun talaga. Ang bango! I have dry skin mga best, kaya yung mga go-to primers ko talaga yung mga dewy primers or hydrating primer. First time mo mga try ng dewy primer, pero gel-like yung consistency. And then now, na nag-set na siya sa skin ko, nagtataki siya. So that's a plus and a good thing, right? Kasi pag taki yung primer, nahuhold niya talaga yung foundation mo in place. First impressions lang ha, nagustuhan ko siya, plus the scent. Sobrang bango niya, watermelon talaga yung scent niya. And for my foundation, hindi pala foundation, I'm gonna use this one from BLK. Pasalubong tone ni Medi sa akin. So Medi, if you're watching this, thank you, thank you so much. Ito yung BLK Cosmetics Universal Skin Tint Sun Shield. And this has SPF 30. In fairness, I gusto ko yung packaging niya yung color. I don't know why, but there is something about this packaging that reminds me of KKW. Yung ganito, yung parang nude beige ganern. I like it. I'll put it at the back of my hand first. So this is a butterscotch. Apply ko muna to using my fingers. Ang ganda ng coverage nito ah. Wow! Best! For a tinted sunscreen, ang ganda ng coverage niya. Meron pang natira sa kamay ko and nag medium coverage na siya. And you guys know I have a lot of blemishes. What? Are you sure this is a tinted sunscreen? Hindi ba to foundation? <laughs> Hindi ako maka-get over. Wait lang. Nagbe-build up lang ako ng coverage dito sa areas na marami akong sunspots. Medyo maitim ng konti si Butterscotch akin, but I just hope that it will stay this way, hindi siya mag-oxidize. Solid, medium or high-medium coverage itong BLK Cosmetics para sa akin. Kasi nakikita pa talaga yung mga hyperpigmentation ko dyan, and yung mga acne scar. I-try kong takpan to. Try lang. I'm just gonna use my L'Oreal Infallible Concealer in the shade Vanilla. Mag-concealer lang ako sa glit. Magpa-powder lang ako mga best. I'm gonna use this one from Glossier. Kasi ito, super light lang talaga yung coverage niya. Like, super light. Meron lang siyang konting tint. So, ito na lang yung gagamitin ko para hindi ma-alter yung um, coverage ng foundation natin. Not foundation. Skin tint. Matagal-tagal ko na ito nakikita sa Wet n Wild Counters. Pero hindi ko siya binibili. Pero nung nakita ko siya the other day, sabi ko, ay, bilhin ko na lang kasi hindi naman siya ganun kamahal kasi it's wet and wild. This is the wet and wild um, color icon bronzer in the shade Sunset Striptease. Ganyan siya. Meron siyang leaf na naka-emboss. Swatch muna natin yung color ni Sunset Striptease. Ay, nakikita niyo ba? Hindi yun nakikita eh. Swatch ko na lang dito. Ayan. Hmm. Parang maganda siya. Try natin. 
I like the color of this bronzer because it can be bronzer, yung bronzer and contour at the same time. Because it's not too warm, it's not too cool tone. So, parang in between, neutral yung color niya. Moving on to blushes, I know you guys are excited for these already, and ako din sobrang excited ko na. And matagal kasi yung delivery nila. I ordered this two weeks ago, and kagabi lang siya dumating dito. This is or these are the Color Drops Serum Blushes from M Cosmetics. Hindi ko pa talaga inopen. Yung dalawa lang yung in order ko. Soft Amethyst, ganyan siya. And yung isa, Pink Nectar. I ordered Pink Nectar kasi favorite to na color ni Emily Noel. So, ito na lang yung in order ko. Hindi ko in order lahat, guys. I super duper love the packaging. Wala pa akong ganito talaga sa collection ko kasi parang nail polish lang. Para siyang dropper. So, ipipress mo lang dito. And then, lalabas na yung product. Pero walang lumabas. <laughs> this is Pink Nectar. Konti lang guys sa kasi sayang mahal eh. Ito naman si Soft Amethyst. Sana kinuha ko na lang yung isang warm na color. Kasi dalawang pink na to eh. Meron tong pagka warm ng konti. Pero pag i-sheer out mo yung dalawa, medyo pareho lang yung color nila. So yun yung ma-advise ko sa inyo. Yung Pink Nectar and si Soft Amethyst. Medyo pare-pareho yung color nila pag i-sheer out mo lang yung blush. So, oh my gosh! Mali yung in-order ko, best. So, dapat yung orange yung isa. Tapos pink naman tong isa. Para, ay nako. Meron na akong powder. Tingnan natin kung mabiblend siya ng maayos kahit naka-powder na. Nice! I know, I know, magtatanong kayo sa consistency ng dalawang to. Kasi ito, it's a bit more expensive compared to the Glossier one. Yung Cloud Paints kasi $18. Ito naman $25. Medyo expensive siya. I think you're paying for the packaging as well. Kasi nga, bongga yung packaging ni M. Pero, yung consistency, mas liquidy ng konti si M Cosmetics. Hindi naman liquidy like tumutulo siya. But the Glossier one has a bit of a thicker formula. Mas thick siya ng konti. But when you put it on your cheeks, Pareho lang. Kasi tingnan nyo guys, so pareho lang talaga yung effect. Um, itong glossy na gamit ko na ilang beses. So alam ko na kung anong mukha niya sa skin ko. And same effect, yung parang plump looking yung skin. Ganon, same lang talaga. Nag-break lang ako ng 30 minutes kasi kumain ako ng lunch. Gutom na gutom na talaga ako. Um, wala akong bagong highlighter. So I'm just gonna use my favorite highlighter at the moment. Ito yung Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Bloom Time. So, ito na yung gagamitin ko kasi ito yung favorite ko. Sinabi ko na yan kanina. Paulit-ulit. mag ako ng super duper konting soft amethyst lang. Dito lang sa gitna. Pareho din siya sa Glossier, guys. Kasi kahit naka-powder ka na, hindi talaga siya nagpapatchy. Madali lang din siyang i-blend. Nakalimutan kong i-record, buti na lang hindi ko pa nalagay yung mga lipstick. So, meron akong dalawang biniling lipstick. Ito yung bago ng Maybelline. This is called the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in the shade Enjoy the View. Ganyan siya. So, sinwatch ko na siya and hindi ko na-record eh. So, ito si Enjoy the View from Maybelline. Um, ito naman si L'Oreal Paris. Anong nga pangalan nito? Rouge Signature Lightweight Matte Colored Ink. Ganyan siya. And I got it in the shade 418 Eye Empower. And ito siya. Nude lipstick lang siya. Merong ni-release si L'Oreal, di ba, na bago. Yung parang macaroons. Um, nakita ko yun sa ulta eh. Let me know in the comment section below if you want me to do a half and half. Or comparison. I-compare ko para alam nyo kung ano bibilhin nyo. Hindi yung dalawang formula talaga. Or baka isa lang yung formula. Iba lang yung amoy. I'm not sure. But yeah, let me know if you want me to compare both. Hindi ko alam kung anong susuotin ko. Um, I'm gonna try out this one first. Walang nagtatag. Sobrang smooth and creamy. Maganda yung feeling niya. It feels really light sa lips. Tapos hindi siya drying na matte, in fairness. Hindi talaga siya drying. Hindi siya powder matte eh. Meron siyang pagka-powder matte, meron din siyang pagka-creamy. So, ito na naman yung description ko na ang pangit-pangit. Kung nanganak si powder matte and si creamy matte, ito siya. Mm. In fairness, maganda siya sa lips. Pero hindi siya transfer proof.
maganda yung color nito pag naka smoky eye ka. But now, na wala akong makeup, I look really pale. So, I'm just gonna mix these two. But the formula of this one is super manipis. It's again, as what I said earlier, it's like putting water on my lips or yung lip tint, yung water tint. Pero liquid lipstick siya. Yung ganon. Yan. Imimix ko na lang tong dalawa. Ombre, ombre. Before I use my setting spray, kasi alam nyo yung mga dewy kasi yung setting spray ko eh, para makita nyo talaga yung skin ko. So yung ano, BLK na Silk Tint Sun Shield, maganda siya. Parang satin or natural matte yung finish niya pag i-powder mo na. So again, ganito yung look niya sa skin pag walang setting spray. Kasi magdudui ito ng konti eh pag magsa-setting spray ako. Pero yun kasi yung gusto ko talaga guys, dewy na skin. Kaya pagbigyan nyo na ako. Hey guys, so I'm done with my makeup and I actually really like everything that I've tried so far. It's already 12.57 in the afternoon. I'll try to wear this makeup for 6 or maybe 8 hours today. Tingnan natin kung long-lasting ba itong BLK na skin tint, sun shield. Ganyan siya. Nahuhulog na lahat ng gamit ko dito. Anyway, everything that I've tried today, so far, nagustuhan ko talaga. The primer I like, in fairness. Nagustuhan ko siya. Um, I'll continue to wear this and then balitaan ko na lang kayo kasi, of course, first impressions pa to today. Pero yung combo ng dalawa, maganda siya. I like this. The coverage is really, really nice. I hope it's long-lasting. But yeah, first impressions, I like it. Hey guys, it's been three and a half hours and ganito yung mukha ng skin ko. I really like the tinted sunscreen. I super duper like it kasi nga wala siyang scent tapos ang gaan-gaan niyang suotin madali lang siyang ilagay tapos maganda yung coverage niya yun nga lang medyo kulang siya kasi SPF 30 lang pero para sa akin sobrang okay na yun Lab, okay pa yung ano ko? Makeup? Yeah, okay. You like it? Oh, see? Si Dave, di ko gusto niya yung makeup kasi okay. hindi halat. Kung sa first mga game room. Ha? Huh? Really? Kung ano yung nakita mo kanina before the jogging? Sabi ni Dave, binisaya, i-English yun. Saka glowing pa. Wow. Grabe naman siya mag-review ng makeup. Best na hiyan naman ako. <laughs> Ano daw guys, kung ano yung um ano daw? Ano daw? Ano daw kung ano yung makeup po kanina nung nakita kami before ako nag-jog, yun lang din. Tapos nag-jog na kami, pinawisan na ako. Pero hindi pa ako tapos mga best, magle-legs lang ako, mag-workout ako ng konti lang, kahit 30 minutes lang sa baba. Balikan ko na lang kayo mamaya. Nakalimutan ko pa lang sabihin sa inyo yung serum na blush. Andiyan pa rin siya. Hindi siya ganoon kaklaro sa camera eh, pero like, I'm looking at myself in the mirror. And dyan pa talaga, as in. Meron fading ng konti, pero konti lang. And meron pa talaga akong blush. Joke lang po talaga yung mag-workout ako kasi tinamad ako, bes. Pero one hour na ang nakalipas. nag internet lang ako dito. And kailangan ko natanggalin yung makeup ko, guys. Um, meron pang araw, ha? Pero ano na, 7.30pm na dito sa amin. So, anyway. Um, yun lang. Okay. This bronzer from Wet n Wild, if you already have a lot of bronzers in your collection, um, you don't need this. Ito namang serum blushes from M Cosmetics. Maganda yung packaging. I mean, it's nice to have this in my collection. But to be honest, pareho lang talaga yung effect or look niya sa skin ko. Um, dun sa Glossier. And Glossier is $18 and ito $25. I... Depende na yun sa'yo kung meron kang budget na bibili ng M Cosmetics. Go ahead, try it. It's nice. But kung ako ikaw, para makatipid ka ng konti, si Glossier na lang. Yung formula ng dalawang lipsticks na to, in fairness, na gustuhan ko talaga. But I like the formula of this one better. Ito kasi, lip crayon talaga siya. Like, lipstick siya. But I'm not sure if this is gonna be long-lasting kasi sa gitna ko lang siya nilagay eh. But the formula of this L'Oreal one, sobrang nagustuhan ko. Again, as what I said earlier, para lang ako naglagay ng lip tint. Yung mga typical lip tint natin, pero liquid lipstick siya. Sobrang nipis. I've tried the similar formula. The similar. I've tried a similar formula before, yung YSL. I'm just gonna put a picture here. Yan. Parang pareho talaga yung formula nilang dalawa eh. I'll try to get more shades or yung deeper na shade tomorrow. Kasi nagustuhan ko talaga yung formula niya. And medyo mahirap kasi suotin pag ganito ka nude. Tapos wala akong eye makeup. And alam nyo na, hindi naman ako naga eye makeup all the time. But so far, so good. I love these two so, so much. 
Etong ink crayon pala from Maybelline. Mas gusto ko yung formula nito if I compare it to the creamy mattes and the powder mattes. Don't get me wrong, I love those two formulas, but I like this one better. And yung liquid lipstick din ng Super Stay, medyo drying yun ng kwante sa lips ko because I have dry lips. I have dry lips? Did I just say dry lips? <laughs> I have dry lips, kaya medyo drying yun. So, eto hindi siya ganun ka drying and magaan lang siya sa feeling. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please do not forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And may your brow game be as strong as your coffee today. Love you. Bye. Mm -hmm.